No, but now you guys can see what we're going to do is we're going to solve this two different ways. All right? You have two raised, two raised to 3 minus x equals 565. So again, whenever you have an exponential equation, a couple things I've looked at. One, can we write 2 or 565 as a, as a um, power of 2, as 2 with the base? No, right? So since I can't say this 565 is 2 to some power, right? That would have been easy if I could have done that. Since I can't do that, I need two different ways to solve. So the one way is to transfer it to exponential form. I'm sorry, to logarithmic form. So that's going to be uh, log base 2 of 565 equals 3 minus x. Transfer to logarithmic form. Or what we can do is we can take the log of both sides. So take the log 2 raised to 3 minus x equals log of 565. Now, remember, you don't want to take log base 10 or even the natural log of both sides because you, we need to somehow get rid of this exponent here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the same base as what I'm evaluating it for. And the reason why I'm going to choose base 2 is because now, because I know that log base 2 of 2 raised to 3 minus x, this cancels out and I'm just left with 3 minus x equals log base 2 of 565. That is your inverse property you guys have to remember. Okay. Whenever you have, you know, this equals 1, so if it's raised to an exponent, it's just going to equal your exponent. Here, now you guys notice, I have the exact same answer, don't I? Right? So now I just need to answer, solve for this. Well, I need to solve for x. So I need to subtract the 3. So I have log base 2 of 565 equals negative x, then I divide by negative 1. Oh, plus 3, right? Minus 3. Divide by negative 1 on both sides. So I have a negative log base 2 of 565 plus 3 equals x. Yes? For the plus 3, you don't actually add it to like the 565, like it's a different... Yep, exactly. That's a very good point. Um, if I had square root of 5 plus 1, would you say that that's the square root of 6? So, all I want you to remember, you understand that, right? Same thing like if I said 2 squared plus 1, that is not equal to 3 squared, right? So you don't add inside of functions. Remember, a logarithm is a function. Okay? Got it? So just always remember that. Yes, you can, you're not going to want to add or subtract inside that function because that's 2 raised to what number gives you 565? That's what the logarithm said. So yes, be very careful with that.